Here's the water tower. Back of the campground. So now, just gotta look for a use trail. It's supposed to be one around here. So let's see. I remember seeing something that looked like a trail. like a trail around here. Let's see. Let's see if this is it here. This might not be it either. I think this is it. Might be a little more overgrown. Well, I know if I can get to the ridge, that'll be a good thing. If I can get to this ridge here. The images I looked at, I think, were from 2017. A lot can happen in three years. I know there are little fire breaks that run up the ridge. So, let's we'll see. I want to step on these, break these Yerba Santas. I'll say this will probably be partially cross-country hiking here. It definitely looks like it's very overgrown over here. Let's see. It's a little more open over here. So my main thing is getting to the ridge if I can get up the ridge at a good spot, I should have a pretty good chance of being able to reach the peak. It's definitely a bit overgrown, it's to be expected. Just a couple years can really change the landscape. So this is going to definitely feel more like a cross-country hike as opposed to a maintained trail hike. I mean, there could be a huge trail around here somewhere. But as long as I'm careful and keep my eye out for poodle dog bush, should be able to be able to get up there somehow. Well, I know the what I saw was a use trail. It's down by that water tower. And the chaparral here is not impenetrable. At least not where I am right now. It's not impenetrable over here.
Uh, definitely, we'll be looking at some, some form of bushwhacking. Albeit, I don't believe it's going to be anything insanely bad. Like I said, this brush is still relatively recently re-establishing. So, I might have to pattern my way up this mountain a little bit differently. I'm expecting this to be definitely a steep climb because I gotta go up this. I gotta get up there. Let's see how this goes. Don't get the impression that Monte Cristo Peak gets a lot of attention except for in the, the Peak Bagger community as it's listed on Peak Bagger and Peakery.com but as far as I know it's not an officially named summit oh boy this is a steep one thank god the soil's moist this is pretty loose over here but with the moisture in the soil it's definitely doable it's just kind of a little a little strenuous all right this jacket is this jacket is it's just too much for me all right let's see I want to leave it, but I hope to God I don't forget it. I'm sorry, Mr. Cianothus, but I'm going to need you to be my coat rack today. Because I'm really sweating. It's not cold out today. I suspect it'll probably get warm later on. Man. Can't imagine trying this when the soil's dry. Boy, when the soil's dry, you won't be able to get a foothold up here. Oh, boy. Whew. I'm going to have to take my time going up this one. Probably would have preferred going up the ridge. Ridge or gully. But at this low elevation, gullies mean good chance of uh, coming across poison oak. No offense, but I'm not about that today. Oh boy, coming down this, it's gonna be a little bit of sliding, I would imagine. Woo! Oh boy. Oh boy. Whee! Wanted to start getting back in these more challenging hikes so I can at least start getting myself back into better hiking shape. I haven't been doing a lot of real hiking. I might have been doing a lot of plant videos, mini adventure videos, but nothing like this. Where I'm walking up a probably a 30% slope. Haven't done this in a while. But got some new hiking boots. Hiking shoes from Columbia. So we'll see. But this is definitely pretty gnarly. This is no joke. Oh boy. Thank God the soil's moist. <sighs> From all the rain and snow melt up here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop here for a break. 
hot dog. This is a this is a steep mamma jamma here. Ooh wee. Look like there's a fire break along there. So I think I chose a tougher cross country route over here. I haven't really done any cross country lately, so it's kind of good to get some in. I'm probably going to be stopping a lot to catch my breath since I haven't really been out there doing my hiking. Well, this will be a good way to get back into it. Just hit hit it. Take the bull by the horns, I guess. I, mean, I did a two and a half mile hike to Elsinore Peak last week. That one, oh, that was a super easy hike though. I had nothing like this from grabbing onto chaparral shrub branches to get a good balance. But I think I'm gonna try to come down a slightly different way. I mean, spacing here between the shrubs is enough to make me think that this is a use trail. I think this is a use trail or something. There are a lot of use trails and fire breaks around here in this area. There we go. Yeah, get a little break. People in the campground. Yeah, those people are awake. One was flying a drone. What's that yelling about over there? I may kind of have a loud voice myself, but I don't like to scream in the mountains. Except if I find a rare species of tree. I'll tell you one thing. So it'll give you a good workout. Getting to Ponte Cristo Peak itself is not going to be an all-day affair. It's just right above the campground. It's just you got to take it slow because it's steep. And there's no snow here because it's west facing slope. So, the afternoon sun, which is the hottest sun of the day, melts it off. That's looking over towards the ridge that leads up to Mount Gleason. A lot more snow up there. Some random peaks over here, too, that look enticing. And I see fire breaks leading up there. I don't think any of these peaks that I know of have a name. But yeah, I see a fire break over on that ridge there. But on the way back, I've got to remember to get my jacket. I have to remember to get my jacket on the way back. I don't want to forget it. Hey. My November 20, November 24, 2019 hike I did to Mount Lawler and Strawberry Peak, I left a really good jacket, really good jacket, at the saddle, the Strawberry Lawler saddle, and forgot to grab it on the way back. Brought it with me in case it got cold, but it was a warm, sweaty climb up. And I didn't need the jacket. It's just too it was just too warm that day. Alright. We're starting to get really steep again here. Oh boy. At least get to this bald spot over here. During the dry season, this has got to be excruciating. Uh, 
All right. Well, huge trail. Seems to be going up more this way here. Whew. If you want a good workout and a good challenge, this will get you what you want without being a thousand million foot elevation gain. From here to the top of Monte Cristo, well from down there to the top of Monte Cristo Peak, it's about 700 feet gain. But I think I'm going to leave clip number two where it is and focus on not sliding on my butt to get up to the top of this. Could return on that fire break right there. As long as I branch off to get my jacket on the way back down. Lift it kind of down there. Beautiful day though, no denying. This is pretty good hiking weather, I gotta say. So I'll see you on the next clip. Hopefully I'll be closer to the main ridge. And I'll see you then.